Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. Imagine having Martin Luther King Jr. himself sit down at your dinner table. Imagine Dr. King asking you to stand up for your community, for your nation. Audrey Faye Hendricks and the people of Birmingham did not have to imagine it. From the pulpit, Dr. King personally asked them to march in the streets, get arrested, and fill the jails to end segregation. Jail? Now that was serious. That was risky. Yet nine-year-old Audrey Faye Hendricks leapt to her feet and said yes. She said yes when all the adults she knew said no. You know who else said yes? 3,000 other children. They marched, were confronted by police, and were jailed to show America the injustice of segregation. And of all of them, Audrey was the youngest. Jail was harsher than she'd imagined. Freedom was harder to obtain than she'd realized. But Audrey and 3,000 other children filled those cells, just as Dr. King had asked. What do you think happened next? Did freedom win that day? Explore more in the pages of The Youngest Marcher, the story of Audrey Faye Hendricks, a young civil rights activist, a nonfiction picture book by Cynthia Levinson, illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton and published by Athenaeum Books for Young Readers. Look for it at your favorite bookstore or library. Keep on talking, marching into freedom land.